Levi is our story today. He is a priest through the ancestral line of Aaron. In fact, that is the line of the Levites, the son of Levi of Jacob. That's his tribe. He is the second to last judge that we're going to look at. He accuses Hannah of being drunk when she's in the temple at the altar, pouring out her heart to God. As a priest, don't you think he should have noticed that she was actually in distress rather than drunk? It makes us question where his relationship with God was. Even though he's a priest, he misses God. And Hannah, who is a humble, broken, ordinary person, has a close relationship with God. Eli's sons are wicked. He has not disciplined them enough and let them do their own thing. They take the choice meats instead for themselves instead of putting them before sacrifice like they're supposed to. They commit adultery with those who are working in the temple. Eli has let God down. Even though Eli has raised up Samuel, at the end of his life, he's actually 98. He's sitting at the gate and news comes that both his sons have died in battle and the Ark of the Covenant has been captured by the Philistines. And although this is horrible, I think it's kind of funny. The Bible tells us he was a fat man and he sat down. He heard the news of his sons and it brought such great distress that he fell out of his chair and broke his neck. <laughs> but my point today is, Eli, who should have listened to God, didn't. Hannah, who was relying on Eli to talk to God for her and to tell her how to hear God, went directly to God. That's what we're to do. So today, won't you go directly to God and pour out your heart?